Yes! The bird, the wasp, the wasp! You guys can't see me very well. Welcome back to the Ranch Network. You don't want to miss this episode, folks, because it's Will versus the Webworm. Basically what they're doing is they're invading our hardwood trees. This is the pecan behind me. We've got black walnut over there. We've got highway noise. Yeah. So yesterday, I pulled down a big branch and I burnt those webworms. That seemed pretty effective to me. I feel like I'm in line for a participation trophy. What we need to do is to either knock them down or rip them open to expose them to their natural predators. Birds, bees, wasps. The presence of natural predators within these webs helps maintain a balanced ecosystem. It's time for the hunter to become the hunted. Come on, man. In the woodlands of Texas, the fall webworms emerge, adding intrigue to the natural landscape. These fascinating insects construct intricate webs on tree branches, creating shelter for their young. This is gonna be a lot harder than what I thought. Actually, everything on the ranch is much harder. It takes much longer than what you think. Every time. But I have opened up a few. It's flying around all over the place. What the heck? I'm really not confident right now that birds will just swarm this tree and just start eating these things up. I believe gashing the webs with a pole pruner would be more effective. Maybe next time. They just don't fall off the tree like I would hope that they would. It's not even that easy to poke holes in them. Just for fun. Let's take out the hose. Let's see if I can spray these things. While their webs may appear unsightly, they have minimal impact on the health of the trees. It's not helping whatsoever. This is just making those caterpillars soggy. That is it. Maybe they'll be easier to poke now, I have no idea. Intriguingly, fall webworms are not exclusive to Texas but can be found in various regions of North America. Over time, they have even expanded their territories to distant lands like Europe and Asia, thanks to human intervention. I've had it with this thing. I mean, it's good for wasps. Wasps. But, it's not good for webs. Oh, and don't forget, please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us. Without you, there's no us. Sort of. Time to break out the big guns. The cobalt, steel, rake. I just hit myself in the face. Steel, rake. I hurt myself. I'm good. So, I feel like a blooming idiot. Anyway, look at that. I am the man of iron. I'm Iron Will. And the funny thing is, these webs are not supposed to be here right now. This is like the beginning of summer. What gives? Welcome to the ranch. I feel that maybe if I can at least rip a hole in some of these webs, then the birds, the wasps, the wasps. I can't even say wasp or moth correctly today. And the bees will go after them. I hope so, because those are supposed to be their natural predators. Where are the birds? Why aren't the birds coming over here and just eating everything? I can hear them. I, you guys can't see me very well. They're making a ton of noise. I, anyway, uh, yeah, we need birds. Come on! Birds! Bees! Wasp! I can't even say wasp! Wasp! I need them all. These small moths, with wingspans ranging from 1 to 1.5 inches, showcase a remarkable variety of colors, ranging from white to pale yellow or gray, adding a touch of visual diversity to their presence. Their web nesting behavior is also a fascinating aspect. They construct impressive silken webs on tree branches, enclosing clusters of leaves to create protected spaces for their larvae to feed and grow. This is going like through them in between them. It's not really latching up. I mean, some I got down. 
Yes! Finally. I don't know how anybody does it. I mean, do I have to climb the tree like Michael Jackson? Is it, oh, don't you climb trees? Is that what I have to do? And I can't even get to it then because the way out on the end of the limb, I would just bust my butt trying to go up there. So I don't know. These, these web worms might win against me today. Look, I got a few on the ground already. That's it. All this work and that's all I got. Yeah. So I guess at the end of the day, you're supposed to tag them and bag them. Is that it? Tag them and bag them? On this hot, beautiful, sunny day in Texas, with all my web worm up in the tree. Guys, have a blessed day. See you on the next video. Bye.